85% of Greenland is covered in ice, putting this vast territory on the front line of melting Arctic ice in a region that is warming twice as fast as the rest of the planet. From this remote airfield, NASA scientists are taking to the skies to gather data to better understand a little studied aspect of how oceans interact with glaciers and contribute to melting them. Well, of course, the planet is heating up because of human-caused climate change, and Greenland is feeling the impact in a big way. Now, a lot of people think of the ice here as melting from the air warming, sort of like an ice cube under a hairdryer. But in fact, the oceans are also eating away at the ice's edges. That's because the glaciers flow right into the ocean, and they can feel the warming water and are retreating because of it. Oceans Melting Greenland, or OMG, has been flying these missions since 2015. Flying over fjords, glaciers and icebergs in a vintage World War II era plane, they drop probes into the water below to measure the temperature of the Arctic. At the signal, the crew drops the probes into the water below, checking to see if they've landed. Once they hit the ocean, they start transmitting data about the temperature and salinity of the water down to the seabed. The data is radioed back to the plane and can be compared against data from flights in the winter to see how warm water from the oceans is affecting glaciers. The major open question how ocean temperature variations will affect the Greenland ice sheet in the future. And so the data we're collecting are super valuable because they are allowing us for the very first time to quantitatively relate ocean temperature changes with the melting of the ice sheet. But in remote eastern Greenland, with limited communications and transport, even keeping the mission in the air is a challenge. The complexities of dealing with Greenland's remoteness is a unique challenge that makes it very exciting in a way I never thought I could have excitement. Flying dozens of flights and dropping hundreds of probes over five years, OMG's aim is to see how much the oceans are melting these glaciers, something these scientists hope will improve predictions of sea level rise as Greenland's ice vanishes.